Welcome to the Daniel and Gail Daniello Building, home to the National Veterans Resource Center at Syracuse University. We're excited to share with you this new center as it represents the culmination of so much history, but also so much promise for the future. Syracuse University has a long-standing commitment to serving veterans and their families, which dates back much further than many people realize. During World War I, the Student Army Training Corps was formed, which would eventually become what's known today as ROTC. And when World War II began, Syracuse University students responded to this national crisis, enlisting by the thousands. By the end of the war, we had trained almost 8,000 uniformed personnel with some 18,000 alumni in service. Following World War II, Chancellor Tully saw the opportunity to serve those who have served and help write the original GI Bill. As a result, our small regional campus doubled in size when almost 10,000 returning veterans enrolled, forever solidifying the university's commitment to those who have worn the cloth of our nation. Fast forward 68 years later, when Chancellor Severu proclaimed that Syracuse University must once again become the best place for veterans and put in place programs, staff, and conditions for veterans and their families to thrive throughout their pro-service lives. There is no more visible symbol to the university's commitment to veterans and military-connected people than the National Veterans Resource Center. But let's hear from someone for whom this building was built someone who can share how this building is symbolic and represents the enduring commitment of the university to support the lives of the men and the women and the families who have bravely served our country. Charlie, over to you. Thanks, Mike. I'm a proud United States Marine Corps veteran. I'm the president of the Student Veterans Organization, and I'm a senior at SI Newhouse School of Public Communications. My experience with Syracuse University has profoundly impacted my life. My history with the university started more than a decade ago while I was still on active duty and I enrolled at Newhouse in the military visual journalism program. My story continues today after my service as I pursue my degree in public relations. What quickly became apparent to me is when Syracuse University says it's the best place for veterans, it's not just a tagline, it's a challenge from our own chancellor. To make sure this institution remembers its past military community foundation and continues to honor that even today. I'm excited to take you through the NVRC to learn more about the permanent commitment Syracuse University is making to support veterans like me. Let's get started. The National Veterans Resource Center, also known as the NVRC, represents an unprecedented commitment by Syracuse University to cultivate and lead innovative academic, government, and community collaborations positioned to empower those who have served in defense of this nation. The flags flying before the NVRC represent the university's deep connection to the indigenous lands, its commitment to veteran services, and its pursuit of knowledge. The five military branches fly prominently along with the United States, New York State, and Syracuse University flags. There's also the Haudenosaunee flag, representing the Onondaga Nation and the indigenous peoples on whose ancestral land Syracuse University now stands. The NVRC houses state-of-the-art educational training programs designed to advance the economic success of the region's and nation's veterans and military families, and is also the hub of veteran research and analytics to inform university student programming, as well as the national narrative centered on the challenges veterans and their families face today. A few tenants of the building include Syracuse University's Office of Veteran and Military Affairs, the Institute for Veterans and Military Families, and many more. The NVRC was made possible thanks to a transformational gift from Daniel and Gail Daniello, one of the largest single gifts in the university's history. Dan is a university board trustee, a 1968 graduate, as well as a proud Navy veteran. I felt strongly about helping to create the NVRC because of what service meant to me and how this center would continue to set Syracuse University apart as the nation's leader in programming and research focused on veterans and military communities. Chancellor Severud's vision and commitment to the veterans and their families is unique in higher education. It's a compelling differentiator for our university, but it also speaks to the value of military populations and what they bring to the campus, to the classroom, and to our communities. The 115,000 square foot NVRC is a LEED certified building that incorporates sustainable materials and technologies 
and includes universal design standards for ADA compliance. The open concept configuration allows enhanced collaboration and flexibility and leverages assistive technology to support education and career development. And named after Dr. Tan, an alumni of the College of Engineering and Science class of 1973, the NVRC is home to the KG Tan Auditorium, the largest fixed seat event space on campus. The NVRC also features a 3,700 square foot event space that serves as the place of connection and collaboration for all students, faculty, and staff when events are not taking place. The Schwarzwalder Hall of Honor is a visible tribute to the university's long-standing commitment to those who have served, created to showcase the memorabilia donated by university alumni veterans, but also to serve as a rich reminder of the connections these military families have to the university. The gallery in the National Veterans Resource Center will host exhibitions of original artwork with a focus on military-connected artists. The gallery will serve as a central place for continued conversation and education through art, bringing national attention to the experiences of veterans, service members, and their families. Headquartered at the NVRC, but operating on a national and global scale, is Syracuse University's Institute for Veterans and Military Families. The IVMF, as we call it, is higher education's first interdisciplinary academic institute solely focused on advancing the post-service lives of the nation's military veterans and their families to serve those who have served. They deliver unique and innovative programs in civilian career preparation and entrepreneurship training around the country and creates care networks for veterans and families returning to communities after service. The IVMF also provides original research, policy analysis, and program evaluation and works with communities and nonprofits across the nation to enhance service delivery for the 18 million veterans throughout the United States and their families. IVMF's research team partners with public, private, and social sector organizations to inform the direction of veteran and military family-focused programs and policies from small communities to national policy. Syracuse University is proud of its R1 National Research designation and in the NVRC, there is an interdisciplinary research and development center of excellence that is the nation's hub of research and programming connected to the veteran and military sectors. Today, the university's Office of Veteran and Military Affairs is the front door to all things student veteran on campus, providing exclusive resources to student veterans so that they are empowered to thrive in campus life. Ranked as the number one private school for veterans and number four overall by Military Times, Syracuse University is committed to being the best place for veterans. The NVRC boasts study rooms, a lounge, and research areas to provide spaces dedicated solely to student veterans' academics and collaboration opportunities. The Student Veteran Organization provides immediate connection and camaraderie as student veterans transition to academic life. Part professional development and part community engagement the SVO is a vital piece to setting conditions for success in a post-service life. In addition, the Office of Veteran Success supports the student veteran experience on campus by assisting with educational benefits, work-study programs, and opportunities to build community. In 1919, the Reserve Officers Training Corps was established at Syracuse University. Syracuse University has one of the longest consecutive running ROTC programs in the country and includes both Army and Air Force. Army ROTC offers a commission as a second lieutenant in either the active Army or Reserve Forces in a variety of career fields, including combat arms, combat support, and combat service support branches. Air Force ROTC is a program designed to train cadets to be commissioned officers in the United States Air Force. Here at Syracuse, we pride ourselves on having a meticulously designed training environment that gives meaning to the Air Force's core values, fosters good camaraderie among cadets, and produces only the finest officers. Finally, the parade ground serves as a dedicated location for drills, ceremonies, and important events. The NVRC consolidates this robust portfolio of the nation's premier military and veteran-focused educational, vocational, and community engagement programs, services, and research on the campus of Syracuse University. It represents the permanent symbol of Syracuse University as a class-leading exemplar of academic, government, and community collaboration, as well as an everlasting commitment to the military-connected community. Thank you for joining me today as we've honored our past and look forward to our future through the MBRC. On behalf of Chancellor Severud and Vice Chancellor Mike Haney, 
We hope you get a chance to soon visit and see for yourself the extraordinary commitment Syracuse University has made to our veterans, those currently serving, and their families. Thank you.